Did you know that the human eye perceives the green color the best, followed by red and then blue? If you're interested in the theory, check my video about the blue color. Link is in the description. This fine sense of green goes back to our evolution and there are many theories about it. But let's skip these theories and focus on how we can use this fact to improve or make our photos interesting. Let's start simple with this landscape image. Before we start, let's have a quick look at the channels one by one. Remember, if the channels panel is not enabled in your setup, you can enable it from the View Studio Channels menu. The red channel is quite bright. The green channel has a very good representation of the image and is nicely balanced. The blue is the darkest of them all. Just like with this image, in most natural images, the green channel will be in most cases the best looking. This also supports the theory that we perceive green as the strongest color. Let's reset the channel view so we can see the composite colors again. Now, as a green channel has the best contrast, let's use that. I have added a green channel layer already and let me enable it. It just gives that nice extra contrast. I will hide this layer and show you how you can create it. First, we make a duplicate of the original either by using the Edit menu or pressing Command J. I will then add a fill layer and set its color to green. Once I have my green fill layer, I will drag and drop it so it becomes a clipped child layer of the duplicate. This will make the duplicate fill with green. To make a green channel layer, we need to set the blend mode of the fill layer to multiply. Awesome! We now got our green channel layer. Now to blend it in with the image below. As I'm only interested in the contrast, I will set the blend mode of this layer to luminosity. This will create a dark, strange image. To get a better looking contrast, we need to change the blend range of it. After we open the blend settings dialog, we're going to lower the shadows from the source layer to half and in the underlaying range, we will lower the highlights all the way down. That looks much better. We have now used the darker parts of the green channel to give that extra contrast to our image. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at another example. This time a girl with a delicious watermelon. I have the same green channel layer in luminosity blend mode and with the same blend range. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Nice, the image got much more interesting and I especially like how the reds came to life. Pretty awesome. We can also get a bit creative. Let's try a cool effect with this image. I still have the green channel layer for the contrast, but just under it I have applied a simple color grade, which gives this nice bluish tint. Let's see what happens when I enable it. Pretty nice, isn't it? Let's have a detailed look how this layer looks like. It is also a duplicate of the image, but this time it has a yellow fill as a child. This yellow fill layer is then applied in Divide Blend mode, which gives the image a blue tint. I can quickly show this by clicking with the Option or Alt key pressed on the layer. The layer itself is blended in soft light, and with a blend range where the highlights are not applied from the source. If I turn off the green channel layer, you can see that this effect is pretty amazing itself, but with the green channel layer turned on, it becomes magical. Time for our final example, which is a bit more complicated. I would almost say, don't try to do this at home. Anyway, I will quickly go through the layers one by one for the ones who are interested. I really like the image. The color and composition are really nice, but we can bring a bit of more atmosphere to make it more romantic. Let me enable the layer so you get the idea. I believe this version is much more interesting, romantic and definitely gets your attention. This is all done using the green channel information. If I expand all the groups, 
you can see the green fill layers I have used. I will quickly go through them and let me know in the comments if you would like to see a follow up video on this. So first we use the green channel but instead of using luminosity we will get the difference with the green which will create this purplish look. Next I have made the image darker by dividing the green layer from the original and the final group has a soft light containing the original image with the reflect blend mode applied from the green channel. All of this with the green channel and blending. Pretty amazing right? Anyway I hope you like this video. The green channel is an interesting channel and as you have seen you can achieve amazing results with a little bit of creativity. Thank you for watching, keep safe and until the next video.